So it's just gone half past five and welcome to everybody on today's Zoom webinar uh, brought to you by Think Markets. My name is Ridwan Mullah and today we're going to be showing you how to use the Think Markets app as well as also how to utilize and to find all the information you need on our website. So just before I I've logged in you already, I'm just going to log out. But as you can see, we're going to be focusing on the in-house app that is built. This is the only way you can access your equities as well as your CFDs. And we're going to be spending time on this. We're not going to be looking at the other platforms, MT4 and MT5. We're going to be focusing on ThinkTrader. For those of you that are not aware, the ThinkTrader app is available, obviously, in your Apple Play Store. Uh, it's obviously starting your Google Play Store and your Apple App Store. You can obviously download it from there. If you are using equities, it is only available on the app. Now, I'm currently using the tablet version, but it is available on tablet as well as on your phone. The equities piece will be coming soon and it will be available then via our website. And obviously, the CFD option will be also then available through the website as well. Okay. Before I get started, though, and going through everything, I just want to let everyone know I do not have the Q&A session or chat session opened. I'm, like I said, I'm on the tablet. However, please post your questions and all your questions that you can have in the chats or alternatively in the Q&A section. And what I will do is I will get to it at the end of tonight's presentation. So you're more than welcome as we're talking, typing any questions. But like I said, I will get to it at the end of it and we'll go through all of them then. All right. So let's get started. For those of you that already have an account with us, obviously you'll be able to know, you'll know what's your username and your password, and you'll be able to log in directly. If you don't have an account already with us, you can actually create the account. You download the ThinkTrader app, hit the create new account button over there. And once you hit the create new button at the bottom, you'll see it will come up with what type of an account, whether you want a shares account or a CFD account. Now, the way we work is that we offer clients both of these accounts, a equities account where you can trade all the JSC listed shares as well as the exchange traded funds. Alternatively, you can trade in CFDs, CFD shares, CFDs in crypto, CFDs in any derivative instrument, literally, including local and offshore shares as well. Okay. But since as I do already have an account, I'm going to go and log in. And while we wait for it to load quickly, please also note that the market is currently closed in South Africa and we are going to be spending time on equities first and then we'll do a little bit of the CFD side of, of trading. Okay. So from an equities point of view, the minute you log into your account, this is what you're going to see. Whether you're on the app or on the phone, you will definitely see the exact same screen I have in front of me. Obviously on the phone, you're not going to see all the details on the right hand side, like the graph and the profile and that. There you'll obviously have to click on the share name in order to get that information. Okay, but we're going to go through all of that shortly. First and foremost, I just want to highlight something in the top right hand corner. You'll see there's a nice South African flag, which means that this is a South African account, a ZAR account. And you'll see just below that it has the letters EQ, which means that it is my equities account. If I click on that button over there, it will then bring up and show me the accounts that I do have. As you can see, I have an equities account as well as a CFD account. If I only had a CFD account and I wanted an equities account, I could just click on create new live account and follow the steps and complete the application for that. If I want, uh, if I have an equities account and I want a CFD account, you do exactly the same as well. Okay. And this is also where you switch between the accounts. If I select the CFD button over there on top, which I'm not going to do right now, it will take me to the CFD account, All right? Then right at the top of the screen, we have all the different values, which is account value, cash balance, equity, profit and loss, available funds, unsettled funds, committed funds, okay? On your phone, you won't see all six. You'll obviously see the first three. And then if you just swipe to the left, you'll be able to see the rest as well. Account value, what that pretty much means is it takes into account everything that you are holding based upon the current closing price or bid and offer price. 
um, it'll, your cash balance, cash balance is obviously what is the actual cash that is available. Now, remember this cash balance will, as it is showing on this account, it's showing a negative at this moment in time, but that is because obviously anything traded when it comes to equities or investments in equities with the JSC takes T plus three days to settle. T plus three meaning if you trade today, add another three business days to it, and that's when your buy and sell actually settle. So you'll see with mine, I still have some unsettled funds that I have which need to settle because I did some trading, some buying and selling at that point in time. And that's the reason why there's still funds to settle. My available funds are the funds that are actually available for me to trade. And what we do at Think Markets is, if you buy something today for let's say a thousand Rand and you sell that, those shares immediately for a thousand Rand, you will then have a thousand Rand to still trade with. Even though the, the trader hasn't settled yet, we do allow you to trade with it. We do not allow you to withdraw the funds because it has not yet settled. And however, once it has settled, you are able to then withdraw those funds. Okay. So those are all the balances. Obviously, PL is your profit and loss that you're making on your portfolio. And that there is updated pretty much every 15 minutes. And it will highlight to you exactly where your profit and loss is. Okay. The other very important button is right at the top left, which is your deposit funds button. Now, this is very, very important for everybody to, hear, to understand. Think Markets keeps your cash for your equities, as well as the cash for your CFDs in completely two separate bank accounts. We keep those things completely separate. Right? We also give you the banking details for it as well. Sorry, just give me one second. I just want to get this loaded. There we go. We've got deposit funds. If I click on it, and I obviously bank wire. For your equities account, you can only do this via bank wire. So you hit the next button, and you immediately actually get our banking details. Now, it's very important, like I said, to remember the banking details for our equities account is different to that of our CFD account. So the way I've loaded my beneficiary on my banking is I've got my Think Markets. I just put it as Think Markets and I just put it as EQ for the one. So I know exactly which beneficiary it is for my equities when I'm investing. The other, bit, the other one I put down obviously as my CFD and I'll know exactly then which one it is. So two beneficiaries and I can obviously pay to either one. If for any reason you do accidentally pay into your equities account, you can transfer it, and I'll show you how as well. You can transfer from your equities account to your CFD account. These are our banking details. The most important thing to remember whenever you are transferring money, and this applies, believe it or not, to every single stockbroker. Please make sure that under the reference field, you put your trading account number. As you can see, we've made it very nice and simple. If you go to the deposit funds, you can obviously get all the details and you also get the trading account number. You can also, if you need to send details and that will open up an email and you can actually send that, that to yourself if you need to as well. Okay. Please remember that for security purposes, if you are transferring money to us, you will have to provide us with your banking details in order for us to withdraw it. We do not allow third party payments. So if the account is in your name, we will only transfer money back into your name. Okay. So that's how easy it is to fund the account. Just uh, also one thing just to note, when you're transferring, we do bank with Standard Bank. And this is obviously a Standard Bank account. And because of us banking with Standard Bank, if you are transferring from APSA, NetBank, Capitec, or whichever other bank, Remember, those deposits and transfers can take up to two days to reflect into our bank account. What we do is the minute it is reflective in our bank account, we immediately update it and allocate the funds to your trading account. If you want it to be there immediately, you unfortunately have to then select the urgent or immediate payment through with your bank, and that will then come through to us. Okay. So 
sorry, I've just got a message from a colleague of mine. I just wanted to make sure that everybody is, sorry, he's still able to pick up on the webinar. He's just having trouble accessing it. So I want to see if I need to let anybody in. No, we seem to be all good. Okay. All right. Anyway, so that's how we actually do the funding. Now, let's get to the exciting stuff. Once my account is funded, obviously the first thing I would see is my account value would be with whatever cash I have. Um, I've also then, uh, you'll obviously see it in your cash balance as well. Your available funds will be showing whatever funds you've deposited into the account. The next step then is obviously, how do we actually trade slash invest into the stock market? Now, as everybody has most probably seen, or if you haven't, please look at the webinars that we've already done before this, which highlights all the research strategy and everything that you need to be doing before you place that first investment. On the left-hand side, we have what we call a default watch list. If your share is not available on this watch list that you are looking to invest, it is very easy to find. Press the search button here at the top, right next to where it says watch list, you hit that search button. You can then search for any share or ETF, okay, if you want to. And you literally don't need to know the share code if you just type in the name. So let's say, for example, Redefine, as you can see, I'm typing in the whole name. There we go, it came up with the name Redefine. I can immediately press the trade button, which will take me to the trade page for Redefine. Alternatively, if I press the I, it will say to me, would you like to add to your watch list or would you like to even create a new watch list for this? For me, I'm just going to add right now to my watch list. Okay. Once that is done, I can go back and you'll see right at the bottom of my screen, I've got redefined there at the bottom. The other nice thing of this entire watch list, and obviously you can add, like I said, just below the my way, sorry, on the right of my watch list is add watch list. You can create your own watch list. Maybe you want just an ETF watch list, or maybe you want just a, a watch list for uh, shares of a certain thing, your long-term portfolio, short-term, whatever the case may be, you can obviously create those watch lists through there. But the nice thing that just below that, you can see you can sort via the code if you want to. So you can go alphabetical with the codes. You can also alternatively, which is what I like sorting by, is sort by change. So I can immediately see from all the shares which ones have lost the most today, which ones have gained the most as well. So there's, I've also literally from my watch list, I can sort it so that I can see my gainers and losers immediately. Okay. Now, if you are on your phone, at any point in time, if you click on the name, so for example, I've got Standard Bank here in the top. If I click on Standard Bank, it will immediately update and give me all the information. It will give me the profile, it will give me a graph, it will give me all the news. So if I click on news, it'll pull through the sense news, obviously. And please note the sense news is live sense news. So it'll pull through the most recent stuff right now for you. It is completely live as it's published on the JSE. It immediately comes through as well. Okay. You can see it's got its finance, the financials in there. The nice thing also, it's also give, it will give you the time and sales. And those are obviously a time sales. It's pretty much showing you the volume that has been traded the price it traded at, and obviously the value as well. So it'll give you all that information as well. From a graph point of view at the top, you've obviously got a one day, you've got a five day, you've got six months, year to date and so forth. At the bottom right of the graph, you'll see that little uh, square over there, a broken up square. If I click on that broken up square, what it will do is it will give me a full view of the graph, okay? From here, I can obviously then start getting pinpoints in it. So I can use this here to see where the share closed. I can move this around. You can obviously do any indicators that you want to. You can switch to candlesticks and the likes. I know a lot of traders prefer obviously candlesticks, but if you're not in, I mean, the candlesticks here is not showing you an, a movement in the share price every five minutes or, and so forth. So, but you can, if you want to, if you like to see candlesticks, obviously you can, you can change it however you like. And on the right hand side, there's a whole lot of other tools that you can use as well. If you want to get back to the normal screen, bottom right of the, uh, of the screen that you're looking at, you'll see now that square is kind of turned around. But if I click that, it will then just take me back here to the screen. So it'll become small again. 
Okay. At the bottom of the screen, we have every single heading that you would need to go through. So watch this, this is where I am right now. The next button is obviously the portfolio button. And you'll be able to now see your portfolio. You'll be able to see exactly what you hold, the price that you paid. Please note the average price is the actual price that you've paid for the shares. It does not include your costs. It is the price that you've paid, not including your costs. That then gives you obviously the change, the return that you're getting, percent return, and obviously what is the current value. We also give you a share allocation so you can immediately see the percentage. So I currently have 80.4% of my entire portfolio invested in process, uh, PRX, and I've also got some in SRE as well, 19.34%. The other nice thing is, is that we also give you a sector breakdown as well, so you can see exactly which sector we are in. And you can also then look at balancing your portfolio. Right. From the screen, by the way, the other thing you can also then see is you can go and if you click the top right where there's a little arrow with a little time, like a clock in it showing five o'clock almost. If I click on that, what it does is it will take me to my history. So I can actually see the transactions that I've done on my account the buys, the sells, and everything else. I can filter in the history. I can see exactly. Uh, I can go back in time if I need to. Uh, if I want to see the funding, funding is pretty much exactly, funding is the actual cash movement of everything that is settled. So for example, the shares that I sold haven't yet settled, so it will not show up here as a deposit. But my fees obviously are taken immediately on the same day. And those fees have already set. So I can immediately see all of those things as well in there. Okay. I also get an order history as well. And it can show you exactly what orders were placed in the market. Did I place it at a limit order? Did I place it at market? Whatever the case may be. <clears throat> all right. Click on the X and closes, that closes it down. Okay. One other thing also that you can see from here is at the top right, you'll see you've got positions. I hold two positions. And then it says orders one. If I click on that orders one, it'll show me any pending orders I have in the market. Orders that have not been matched. So I've got a sell order of SRE to sell all 41 shares. If it reaches a price of 24.15, it's open and it's good till August. And the value, if I do sell it at that price, I would get is 990 Rand and 15 cents. Again, that excludes obviously the cost. Okay. So with that said and done, that is the portfolio view. That is your orders and everything else in there. But like I said, more interesting enough, let's get to actually placing the trade. So I'm happy to look at Standard Bank. Please note all prices of shares as per the JSE are in cents. It is not a RAND value, it is a cents value. And when you're entering your orders, you'll have to do the same. Enter it at the cents price. So let's take Standard Bank. If I click on the price at any point in time on any screen, even on my phone, it will immediately take me through to this page over here, which is ultimately your, your, your order entry page. This is where I get a live snapshot. So if the market was open right now, the bid and the ask that I'm seeing in the top right over there is a live snapshot price, okay? Remember, these things are changing quite often. So normally what I always tell people to do is get ready, enter in your order, and you'll notice that we do allow, there's a refresh button over there. If you click the refresh button, you'll see it now says you have two real-time prices left. We allow you to refresh this at least three times so that you can get the exact price. You can see the change at the top. The other thing, if I swipe to the, uh, at the top, if I swipe with my finger left and you get the high and you get the low, obviously of the day as well, okay. Now, like I said, what we should be doing is first let's enter our order. We wanna buy, we cannot short the market. So you cannot sell shares that you do not own. You can only sell shares that you do own and you can only sell the quantity of shares that you do own. In my case, I'm placing a buy order. It tells me exactly how much of available funds I have. It can then also, I can then decide, do I wanna do a limit order or an at market order? Remember, if I had to say at market and just for argument's sake, I put in a total of 10,000 shares. 
remember, if I look at the market depth here on the right hand side, as we said in previous webinars, when you look at that, if I buy 10,000 shares at market, I'm going to get 4,996 at 12,524. I'm going to get another 2,100 at 12,525. And the remainder, I'm going to get at 12,530. So just remember at market orders, it's just what it means is get me the shares. I don't care about the price. I'll pay whatever I have to pay. Be very, very careful doing at market orders with illiquid shares. Because if you see an illiquid share, maybe there's only about 100 shares available at 10 cents. And the next one is sitting, and these are normally your penny shares, as we call them. The next offer price could very well be at one rand. So you may end up paying for quite a bit. It is the reason why I always tell people to say, rather enter in a limit order. I can obviously make the limit order higher than what it is right now trading at. So I can see the price. I can see there's quite a few shares at 12.524. I can then enter in that price at 12.524. Alternatively, if I'm happy to say, you know what, I actually don't mind going up to 12.530. What we will do is we're not going to place the order in the market at 12.530. We're going to place it in there. And if there's any price better, you'll get the better price. So in this case, if I was buying it, it would go into the market and let's say it was just 100 shares and I put in 12.530, I'd actually get it at 12.524, okay? The next thing is, how long do you want the order to be in? You obviously immediately can just change it to just good for the day. Alternatively, you can say a good till date and then you can select the date that you want it till, okay? Last but not least, it's going to ask you, the last option is shares, the quantity of shares that you want. Do you want 10,000 shares? Or you can have the option to say order value. The order value, if as I had 10,000, it immediately showed me the actual order value price. Remember, you can change that. You can then say, and this is a RAND value that you're entering in. I only want to buy for 1,000 RAND, and it will say to you, you're looking at approximately eight shares. Okay. Now, if I press the preview order, as you can see, it will give me the preview order screen. This preview order pretty much tells me exactly what I'm doing. This is the last chance I have to edit anything or change anything, okay? Obviously, I don't have the funds to buy the share right now, but what I wanted to show you is that there you go, you've got your full breakdown. The brokerage, if you are at the minimum, so if I'm trading below 12,000 Rand, I'm gonna get charged 30 Rand. The rest of the fees, unfortunately, straight investor protection levy and STT. STT is only charged on buy orders. It is not charged on sell orders, but it's also not charged on ETFs. So if you buy any ETFs, you don't also pay STT. Brokerage, unfortunately, you do pay. That's the cost of actually placing a trade. The VAT, well, VAT, yeah, that has to go to the tax man, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. If you were happy with the order and everything was all fine, you could hit the place order button. It would not be obviously grayed out. You'd be able to press that button. And the minute you press that button, it will immediately go into the market. If for any reason you see anything wrong here, just hit the edit button. It'll take you immediately back and you can then edit whatever you need to on the screen. Again, you can just hit the refresh button to get a real time burden off price. Okay. Simple easy as can be. The trading side is always the easier side of things. It's always the finding the right share that is the tough and hard part to do. Okay. But that's how simple the app is. The app is really and truly that simple. All the information is there, easy to use, easy to fund, easy to trade. Right. The last thing that I just wanted to show you, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but yes, wherever you see this on the top right, just below the equity sign on the screen, you'll see there's an alarm bell. That's for you to set up any alerts. And the one thing that we do have is a list of alerts that you can set up. As you can see, you can do it on equities. You can do it on our Forex. You can do it on indices. You can do it on commodities, whatever you like. So whatever share you're looking for, you can set it up on there. But in actual fact, you can also look at the exchange rates as well. So you can set up alerts in case the RAND reaches a certain rate. You can, then you know, you know what? 
that this might be a very good time for me to look at buying maybe gold. You can also set up an, an alert on the USD gold price. And if you set up that alert, it may give you a good indication if it, depending on where it's going, if it's dropping, or if it's maybe going up, you can then decide whether or not you decide to buy some gold shares. And that's the reason why we've set it up this way. We're the only broker, by the way, in, in the entire country that does this, where you can set up alerts on everything, not just on shares, but you can set up alerts on everything else that obviously impact a share price as well. Okay. All right. With that said and done, as you can see, we've got a nice list of shares. And as I said, you can do any share you want. If you want to just go into ETFs, you can see all the different ETFs are here as well, from your normal Ash Burtons to your core shares to Satrix to Invest One, all of these things. And again, we are charging a brokerage of 0.25%, minimum 30 Rand for all equity trading. And there is no other fees. There's no monthly fees. We are not charging any activity fees or anything else at this moment in time. We do not also have withdrawal fees or anything in that. We are still making sure that we are the best value broker out in the country. Okay. With that said and done, I'm just going to stop broadcasting one second and I'm just going to check to see if we have any questions. So, uh, Sipo just wanted to ask, so is this for trading, not long-term equities investing? Will it offer me the opportunity to buy global stocks like in Frankfurt? My platform allows me NSE. Uh, Sipo, so the example I'm just showing right now, this is just for the equity side. We obviously have the CFD platform as well, which is for trading. And there you can trade in the NASDAQ, you can trade in CFD shares from Frankfurt to the US, wherever. And by the way, we are the only broker in South Africa also that do not charge any commission on CFD share trading or index trading as well. And, but I'll get to that shortly right now. Okay. All right, so want to see if there's anything else here quickly. Uh, there was a question here from Mike. I presume the app can be set up on my PC. Unfortunately, if you are investing from an equities point of view, it is only available at this moment in time through our tablet or phone version. From a CFD trading point of view, yes, you do have a desktop app available, but that'll only be for your CFDs. You won't be able to do your investing. Okay. Let's just get to back again. Oopsie. There we go. Okay. So with that said and done, this is pretty much how we actually have everything on with um, from an equities point of view. Sorry, one last button that I forgot to show you. If ever you need to change anything on your watch list or edit your watch list, Top right hand corner, the little pencil over there. You can move things around, obviously, as well. If you want to, you can obviously then also delete if you need to. If you want to delete, just select that button over there and press the delete over there on the top right, and it's gone. Okay. And you can obviously edit and do whatever else you want to, adding instruments like we just spoke about as well. But it's an app that is designed to be very, very easy to use. It gives you all the information, all the power that you could want but it is easy to use. And like I said, it is something which gives you all your information, your positions, it will give you news as well. By the way, if you hit the news button at the bottom right, it'll show you all the news for all the shares that you have in the current top news. And then you can also press the watch list button and it'll then load to just the sends news for the shares that you have in your watch list. Okay. It's obviously after to after market hours, so it does take a bit longer. But anyway, there we go. Now, with that said and done, the next thing is uh, we can get to Sipo's side of things. And he wanted to know just more or less how does the CFD app work? Just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on this here because obviously with CFD side, a lot of it here has to do with technical analysis. Now, we've done quite a lot of videos and webinars on how to use this, the, the technical analysis tools and what all it gives you. But, and you're more than welcome to go through that there as well. But just from a CFD side of view, as you can see, I could switch very, very easily. Top right-hand button, 
selected my CFD account, and it loaded immediately for me. Okay, exactly the same as the equities side of things. You've got a watch list on the left hand side. You've got your graph immediately for whichever instrument you're trading. And again, like I said, from a trading point of view, obviously you can add anything, including your Teslas. You can add in obviously your cryptos. You can add in whatever share you like. If you want to do the NAS, you can do the NASDAQ as well. Let's just type it in. There's the NASDAQ 100. I can do that. The next popular, obviously, indice is the DAX as well, which is the DAX 30. Okay. All of these are now added into my watch list. From my side, I can do trading from graphs. I can do whatever you want to under these things as well. This is very, very simple and easy. There's also one touch trading available. You've got all the technical analysis that you can think of as well. But just for argument's sake, let's just pick one over here and let's do a big graph. Let's choose Tesla. As you can see, there's Tesla. I've now got the immediate buys and sells. It's flashing. Obviously, the market is wide open right now. And with CFD shares, we are also the only broker that where you can do fractional CFD shares. So you can do 0.1 of a CFD share. You can do one CFD share. You can do 5.5 CFD shares and so forth. You can do the same with the indexes as well. You can trade the South African top 40 index as well. And again, we do not charge any commission. Overnight funding rate on your CFD shares is currently sitting at Jaiba plus 2% if you are long, and we pay Jaiba minus 2% if you are short. It is without fail from a CFD share point of view, it is the best value in the market without fail. You're not, you're not going to get it cheaper. Obviously, free there is nothing cheaper than free. It's the reason why Simon Brown also trades with us as well. Anyway. As you can see, I've got Tesla in the bottom right. There's something here that says H1. If I click on that over there, I can then decide how I want my candle graph to look. Hourly, obviously one hour, two hours. I can choose daily, day one. I can also choose minutes as well. The M stands for minutes. So if I chose 15 minutes, it will give me 15 minute time interval of my candles as well. You can then obviously trade immediately. If you want to do a buy, you can hit the buy side over there. You can obviously immediately set up a take profit and you can set up immediately a st stop loss as well. You can choose whether you want it on price, whether you want it on pips, whatever it may be. Once you've done there at the bottom right, you can see I've got either confirm sell or you can hit, you can just hit cancel on that there. If you're not happy with it, you can then go to where it says Tesla. The put in offer, as you can see, it's got sell and buy. It's flashing away. If I hit the buy side, it will take me here now. It's ticked on buy. And I can then decide if I want to buy, go long, or if I want to go short. You can go long and go short in all the CFD shares that we have, local and international, through your CFD account. But that's for trading. For those of you that are investing, obviously, you need to be in your investment account. However, when it does come to the CFD side of the business, we do realize the urgency when, it, obviously, because you want to trade. You, are, you might have margin calls coming, so you need to fund that account quite urgently. So unlike other brokers that are out there, the only way you can do it is, well, transfer the money via EFT. If you get closed out, you get closed out. If it takes two days to hit your account, well, you may only then be able to trade in two days' time. With us, we've got quite a few deposit options when it comes to your CFD trading. If I click the deposit funds button, forgive me, let me just cancel this order over there. It'll just come up with the options. It says enter the amount. I can put in the amount, use the slide bar if I want to as well. Alternatively, just click in the box and I can just say I want to put in 7,000. Go next. The next option it's going to ask me is how exactly do I want to deposit my funds? Remember, all your funds when it comes to whether it's equity or whether it is CFDs, all your funds are kept in a trust account, it is a segregated trust account. Tomorrow, and by the way, those bank accounts are exactly the same as your Standard Bank stockbrokers, your APSAs, your net banks, anybody else out there. We have it exactly set up the same way. The difference though is, is that unlike those banks, we also provide all our clients in South Africa with a million dollars worth of insurance on your deposits. So in other words, if Think Markets is not around tomorrow, 
your deposit, regardless of the fact of what you've put in that account, which I cannot touch, by the way, it's not going to go, if I go bankrupt, I can't then take that money, the client, what we call client money from a trust account and use it. But in any case, let's say something does happen whereby I think markets is not around tomorrow. That money in that account carries a million dollars insurance. So as a creditor, you are protected right up to a million dollars worth of insurance on that money as well. There isn't a broker, by the way, in South Africa that will protect your, your deposit like that. Okay. When you get here to the deposit funds, like I said, when it comes to CFD trading, we understand the urgency that you need to get into the market quite urgently. You can deposit funds via your credit card or debit card that you may have. You can use something like Skrill. Okay. If you want to do rather a secure EFT, so in other words, you don't want to use your credit or debit card, you rather want to do an EFT from whichever account, you can use OZO as well. If you're not happy with any of these things, uh, by the way, any of these payment gateways, and remember, this is instant. If you use OZO, the minute your money comes through, and remember with OZO, it's going to take you to your bank, and you need to log into your bank, it's going to give you an OTP. OZO is very secure. People like Macro use them, Mr. Delivery use them as well. But you are transferring, ultimately it's an, e an EFT that you are doing. And when you do that EFT to us, what OZO does is OZO guarantees it for us. So we instantly apply the funds for you. So you will get your money there. The minute you're done with that transaction, you will see the money in your account. If you're not happy with any of these things, yes, then select the bank wire. And as you can see, like I said earlier in the presentation, for your CFD account, the bank account number is different. We keep CFD money, money for trading, separate from our from the equities funds as well, both in segregated, safe, secure accounts. Okay, but there's the banking details and the likes. Like I said, what I have is I, I won't lie to use OZO, especially if it's an urgent trade. Otherwise, if it's nothing urgent, I will then rather just do an EFT, transfer the money through using those banking details as well. Okay. The other thing, nice thing, obviously, from an app point of view with our CFD trading, again, you can see your positions. If you hold any positions, you can see your open orders. You can see what orders are currently matched, what have been closed as well. You can on the top right, you can also go and see any graphs or anything else for your positions. Obviously, I don't have any, but that's your position section as well. From a news point of view, we do provide you with FX Wire Pro news. We are also updating this year now. You'll start be starting to get other new services as well, like your Reuters and all of these type of things as well. Yeah, you also do have a calendar, so you can see anything that is upcoming with regards to any important announcements and the likes, like you've got a German CPI and so forth. It gives you the full economic calendar. It's the international economic calendar, of course, as well. All right. From a more point of view, again, this is where you can also find one of the most amazing features that we have, which is called Trend Risk Scanner. Trend Risk Scanner is something that is continuously running through all the different shares in the market. It does have locals as well. And what it tells you, it gives you a risk reward rating. It tells you whether or not you should be looking at going short. It is not an advice tool. It is just looking at certain things. It is there to help you if you need to make a decision. So for example, the first one is the USD MXN. It's giving me the target, the close, and the stop as well. If I immediately click on this here and I say open position, it's going to take me and it's going to pre-populate my order for me. It's going to show me that I should sell. It's going to show me where the stop loss is, where the take profit is as well. You can then obviously adjust how many lots you want and the likes, but that's ultimately what Trend Risk Scanner does. And if I just close it down to go back, you can see there's a whole list of things. Right now, it's searching on time. You can then do a search on security. So there's a Didas, it's Advertech as well. A, and there's a whole list obviously as well. You can obviously search if you need to. So you can just hit the search button there wherever you see that little magnifying glass and you can search for the share. <clears throat> but as you can see, again, if I were to just go into any one of these and we even have one best property in here as well. Oh, okay. But if I went into any of the securities, let's choose did us again if i click on it and i say open position it'll once again show me the type of order it should be a sell order it should be potential profit or loss or anything else like that as well okay 
obviously at DDoS right now, just by the way, the reason why you're seeing invalid values, obviously if the market has closed already. Okay. But this is what the trend risk scanner does, and that's where you can find it. So under more at the bottom right, you'll find trend risk scanner. You can obviously see your accounts here, and if need be, you can also get into live chat if you need to chat to us as well. Okay. So that's the app. And those are the apps that we have, the Think Trader app. It is actually a very, very powerful tool. It's actually been a really amazing award-winning tool as well. So you have investing and trading all in one place. All you need to do is just switch between the accounts once you've opened them. Okay. And everything that you are buying, obviously it is on, if it's from an equities point of view, it is with the JSC. And the nice thing is, unlike certain other brokers who also have quite a bit of a low cost for their brokerage, the difference is that we don't have any hidden fees, but besides that, you also get a live price. So when you are trading, you know what you are pretty much going to be buying the share at. You put a limit price in, that's the price you're going to get. If the share obviously gets to that price, you also get access to research and the likes as well. So with that, let's just stop here one second again. And before I switch to the website to show you where we get all our research and that there, I'm happy to just look at some questions that we may have coming through. Okay. Uh, Stan, you want to know if the recording will be available later? Yes, it will be. All our webinars are recorded and we do put them up on our website. I'll show you also where you can get it. But if you need to also, you can get it on our YouTube channel. Please give us obviously two to three days for the, web for the webinar to be uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Uh, with that said and done, let's just see if there is something in the chat also. Uh, what is the procedure if I want to transfer my portfolio from my present broker to Think Markets? The procedure for that is quite simple. Just give us a call tomorrow morning. Alternatively, if you want to, you can go into live chat and you can just ask them for the transfer form. You're going to need to complete the transfer form, submit it back to us, as well as submit that to your current broker now. Your current broker, and this is South Africa has been famous for it. Um, fortunately, I've got a part to play in it as I worked with many of the large brokers in South Africa. But your current broker is going to charge you a transfer fee. Just by the way, we don't actually charge. If you want to transfer your shares, we don't charge you a transfer fee. So, And even if you're transferring your shares to us, we don't charge you. A fee. But your existing broker will charge you a fee. I always tell people, please find out that fee because that thing literally can be from 100 rand all the way up to 250 rand. And sometimes it may be cheaper for you to rather sell your shares and buy the shares again. So if you need to, however, please contact us uh, and we'll send you the transfer form. To trade shares, I presume I use the platform on the internet web. No, you, like I said again, um, it is from, a, if you're gonna be trading in CFDs, then yes, you can use the app, the desktop app, however, if you are investing in shares, JSE listed shares that you want to invest in, that you're going to have to do through your tablet or through your phone. The web version will be coming in the next quarter, hopefully. Okay, we're building quite a nice, unique one from the ground up. All right. With that said and done, I'm going to now show everybody how the wonderful website works and how and where you can get all the content from there. So let's start that back up again, and then we'll get to the questions shortly again. Okay, from a website point of view, thinkmarkets.com. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go right back to the homepage so that you can see exactly what you do. So when you get to thinkmarkets.com, this is the website that you will see. Uh, by the way, if you are not happy to trade via your app or via your phone, you can phone in and place your trading orders. Please note that obviously you can only place orders in the equities or the, well, with the JSC when they are open. So you can't place orders after hours for those markets. From half past eight to five o'clock, the South African team is available and they'll be able to do any of your phone trading for you. Okay. No fee for phone trading. It's free. So if you want to, like I said, not happy to use the app, phone us. We'll definitely place the order for you as well. Obviously, you do need to have the funds available in the account as well. Okay. So anyway, 
<clears throat> if you land on our web page, you'll see that we've defaulted the web page, especially the South, so the South African web page. It will default to all the shares. So this is for investing purposes. You can get immediately the top 40 and the likes. By the way, in the app, you can also get all of these uh, indices and a hell of a lot more. We don't just limit you to the top 40 and the financials and the likes. You can get every single indice out there. Um, and you'll be actually shocked as to how many indices are available. So you can get all the data on your property, all of these things. Okay. Here you go. You can see all of these things and you can see the share movement. I mean, how the indices have formed our top 40 today was down. The mid caps were obviously down, small caps also. The Osha index took a bit of another hammering today, uh, mostly led obviously by your financials. The financial sector really took a hammering, but yeah, it's been actually not been the best day on the JSC today. And this is all the information you can get from us on the website. If you need to learn or anything else and you want to know about more about shares or offering, you want to start investing, there's the learning side of things. We give you a full market data page and we have an education page as well. So you can learn about ETFs and how they work and so forth. But here's your market data page for those of you that just want to get some quick information. You can obviously get different share prices as well. If you're looking for Standard Bank, for example, um, you can just uh, type in wrong. If you want to know their share price, there's the Standard Bank group. You can actually see exactly how it performed over the day. All right. We also give you the biggest daily gainers and decliners. And as you can see right now, yep, Mr. Price, First Rand, NetBank, Absa, Standard, they were all the big losers on the day today. Uh, we had some we had some greens, your Angler Golds, your Impala, and so forth. Okay. So there you can get some nice market analysis. For me, the most important part, oh, oh, sorry, before I do that, for the traders, as we do have quite a few traders on the call, I'm sure. From a trading point of view, you can immediately see the markets. The most important thing, obviously, is the contract specification page. This here gives you every single thing that we have on offer from a CFD point of view. So you can trade in CFD currency pairs, indices. Um, and if I just click on it, you can see the list of all the different indices over there as well. Like I said, and there's the South African, the South African indice. I'm just going to highlight that first part of it. Sorry. That's just our 40. And like I said, you can take out minimum contract size of 0 0.01. You can then also do the shares. When it comes to the South African shares, just by the way, and if I just choose the ZA list here quickly, okay. Every single one of these, you'll see the margin rate is 10%. What that means is, is that if the share price is 100 Rand, the initial margin is 10 Rand. We do that on all our shares. We do not have different margins for different shares. At this moment in time, every single one is, at, as you can see, 10%. And that's the entire list of CFD shares that you can trade. Okay, from a normal equities investing point of view, obviously it's the entire list of the stock market. That's all plus 400 odd shares and ETFs that you can trade in. For me though, one of the most important things on this page is actually the market analysis page. And that's where you can get all your market news as well. From a market news point of view, we are continuously giving exceptionally good research, not just locally, but worldwide as well. As you can see, there's the, the latest one, the US CPI jumps is focused on the central bank. All eyes on there. We've also got quite a bit, and if you look through over here, everything South African market today, we will then also, that's a weekly report that comes out by our market analyst, the local in-house market analyst, Kia. You can see it tells you exactly what is happening. Just a quick, nice, brief overview of everything. And the thing that I like is that none of these things are lengthy, long reports that you're going to have to spend three, four days reading. We also do, as you can, and I just want to find it quickly. I have to just scroll through. There is a filter on the top, which I always forget to use. But anyway, there is something like, for example, we do research on shares, especially if there's an earnings coming out. So here's something, for example, on MS, on MCG as well as on TFG as well. And if you click there, where that link says click here to read more, you'll get a full detailed report of everything right, right now on the shares. This was on Signia Limited. It'll tell you what their, their results came out, how things are looking, PE ratios, dividend yields. Does it also for Shini Group as well? Those are the two companies that came up. So whenever there's earnings coming out, we will definitely give you all the highs and lows of it as well, right? 
going forward, our research team will also be giving you as well market the market analysts, as in what analysts out there think is a buy, sell, and a hold. We will be sharing that as well with all our in all our research reports as well. Okay. For those of you that want that need the research, spend time on the page. Look and see what exactly it is that you want. Like I said, there's a lot of it in here. There's technical analysis. The other thing also is the live webinars. If you click on live webinars over here, under market analysis, again, your live webinars, we will give you the upcoming live webinars. Ah, sorry, I need to just speak to my marketing person. She hasn't updated it yet. Okay. So this is today's one. We've got Simon's one coming up tomorrow and there's quite a few actually coming. They are busy updating the webpage. So you'll see there's quite a few more that is coming. The other thing also that we do is we also just put up the, the most recent ones with regards to what is available. So there's the one of become a smart investor that we did roughly about two weeks ago around research. You can immediately hit play over there. Alternatively, go discover more at our YouTube channel and just click view more there and you'll be able to get it all there. From a trading point of view, you've got also the free trading guides and you can get access to how to trade from beginner level right through to advanced level. Last but not least, we do have what we call our Think Portal. And the Think Portal is all about literally where you can obviously manage your funds and the likes, but it's also where we keep auto charters as well as your trading central. Auto charters and trading centrals are really great tools that you can use to help with your trading decisions because it will tell you exactly where they see shares are going. If it's going to go up, they'll tell you where the entry level should be and your exit level should be. If they think it's going to go short, then I'm sorry, if they think you should go short, they'll again tell you where your entry levels and that is like. Those are just tools to help you to trade and invest better and smarter. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said and done, we've got about eight minutes left. I am going to now switch off here and hand over to you, whereby you can then start asking any more questions you have. I am going to go look into it right now. If you have any questions on that, please feel free to put it under the Q&A uh, or the chat. I will be looking at both of them. Okay. Um, I've just got another question again with regards to is the recording going to be made available later? Yes, it will be made available. As, as you could see right now, it will be available through the market analysis live webinar page at the bottom, or it will be on the YouTube channel as well. Okay. Just having a look at any of the chats. Uh, there we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, like I said, just put them through either on Q&A or on chat. The other thing also, just to let everybody know, with regards to anything that you may think of, because that's normally the case, we always think of things normally after, please note that our live chat is available 24 seven. So you're more than welcome to go onto the live chat uh, and speak to any one of our uh, service agents. They will most certainly help you. We also, like I said, that's available 24 seven and obviously for anything and to help you with any trading, anything that you may need, from an investment point of view, funding point of view, or anything else. Again, just from a cost point of view, because it is becoming very, very important. We are all seeing how costs are eating away at our trading profits, as well as our long-term investments. From a normal equities investing point of view on the JSE, the brokerage is 0.25%, minimum 30 Rand. From a CFD trading point of view, there are no commissions. The currency pairs have got the tightest spreads in our market right now, and you're more than welcome to compare them and you'll see that. We do not manipulate our prices. We are completely regulated and regulated correctly. We don't just go and just get a normal uh, FSCA Cap 1 license and the likes. We regulate our entire business, both in South Africa and worldwide. We regulate it in, in the UK, in Australia, and everywhere else. The business itself here in South Africa, we're dealing with South African people who are also phase representatives 
they are registered so they can provide you with the right information and guidance. We, and like I said, your funds are most probably the most secure. It's even more secure than putting the money in the bank at this moment in time. Okay. Uh, I did see a question with regards to do I earn any interest on my do I earn any interest on my cash when I deposit it for my equities investing? You do not earn any interest on your cash deposit. As it is with many other brokers, if you deposit money with them, they do pay you a small interest, um, but they do take an interest turn on it. So you, you still pay the tax and the full interest amount. With us, our account is a non-interest bearing account. So we don't earn any interest on your cash and neither do you. Okay. Uh, Mike says, I thought I saw the homepage mentioned desktop trading. Yes, Mike, you can download the desktop for trading. Like I said, for CFD trading, if you want to trade in CFD shares or anything else, you can download the desktop app. The desktop, how, desktop version, however, will not allow you to invest for long term in equities, and that means your JSC and ETFs. But you can trade CFD shares, CFD share ETFs, even as well through the desktop app. But that's trading CFDs. Okay. Finally, once find if you uh, find out if you want to trade CFDs. Is it better to open a separate dollar account? Only the way we work is it doesn't make any difference. So when you are trading with us, if it's a ZAR account or a dollar account, it, we do not do what, and I know why you're asking it because I know the other brokers do this. Uh, they charge you basically an exchange rate fee. Remember you're trading a CFD with us. So if you are trading, for example, in a Tesla CFD share, what we will do is we will charge you the margin in dollars and we'll convert your rands to dollars at no fee. We don't charge any fees for that. But what we do is we say, if let's say, for example, the margin for Tesla is $1, we will then take the rand equivalent of 15 rand for you. Okay. For, from a margin point of view, that's how we work. This, uh, we work. The money is not converted because like I said, remember, you don't own the share. You are exposed to it and you're exposed to the movement of it. That's how a CFD works. But you're more than welcome to open a ZAR CFD account. You don't have to open the dollar CFD account. In fact, I would recommend opening the ZAR CFD and you can trade whatever you want to in there. Okay. Um, you're not going to get charged. Like I said, I know what you're referring to. There's a lot of brokers out there with the offshore platforms and so forth. But what they then do is they charge you roughly 2 to 3% exchange rate fees. We're not exchanging your cash, and that's the reason why we, if you want to trade, deposit ZARs into a ZAR account, leave it at that. We will, we will just do whatever the current exchange rate is. That's how we take the margin, but there's no fees involved for that. All right. Okay. So I'm just switching between the questions and the chats, and I'm just seeing if there's anything else. All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any further questions, please log on to thinkmarkets.com or through the app. You're more than welcome to use the, the live chat functionality. Our team is there to help you with any questions that you may have. Oh, and by the way, opening your account with us, easy as can be, but as normal, we do do an e-verification of your, uh, with the details you enter. If for any reason the e-verification doesn't go through, yes, you do need to upload your FICA or KYC documents as it's called. You just need to upload a picture, obviously, of your proof of address and a copy of your ID, smart IDs, back and front. We open the accounts as quickly as possible. We do not have a 24-hour turnaround or anything like that. We're currently actually trying to keep uh, trying to do account openings pretty much the same day. Obviously, we have had a massive uh, increase, and there's been a hell of a lot of applications and clients coming through because they're all seeing the great value and they're all seeing actually the safety and security that has been offered as well. So without fail, there is a slight delay there, but I can promise you right now, your account will most, most certainly be open within less than one day. Okay. So with that, thank you very, very much for joining me tonight. Have a wonderful and safe evening. Please be careful out there. We have a lot of things happening in our country. So please keep safe. 
and stay healthy. Thank you very much and take care.